Sophie to scan du plan tourné Bounyal, the 28th of July 1957, the 23rd of December 1996, was a French television producer who was beaten to death outside her holiday home near Tormore, Shul, County Cork, Ireland. On the night of the 23rd of December 1996, she was the wife of film producer Daniel Tiscan Duplantier. Duplantier's death remains unsolved. Journalist Ian Bailey was arrested twice in relation to the murder, but maintains his innocence. He was tried in absentia in France after winning a legal battle against extradition. On the 31st of May 2019, he was convicted of murder by the Cour d'Assises de Paris and sentenced to 25 years prison. France is hoping to secure an extradition from Ireland on basis of this sentence. Extradition case The Sophie Tiscan du Plantier incident was at the center of an extradition case surrounding a prime suspect in the case, Ian Bailey and the desire of the French authorities that he be brought to France to be questioned. In February 2010, a European arrest warrant was issued by a French magistrate which led to the High Court in Ireland granting an extradition order. This was appealed to the Supreme Court by Mr. Bailey. In March 2012, the appeal was granted by the Irish Supreme Court. All five judges upheld the appeal on the ground that the French authorities had no intention to try him at this stage. Four of the judges also upheld the argument that the European arrest warrant prohibited surrendering Mr. Bailey to France because the alleged offence occurred outside French territory and there was an absence of reciprocity. In March 2017, Bailey was arrested in Ireland on foot of a European arrest warrant issued by the French authorities. The warrant sought to extradite Bailey to France to stand trial for the voluntary homicide of Sophie Tiscan du Plantier and the High Court of Ireland endorsed the warrant. Bailey immediately instructed his legal team to oppose the application. Bailey was successful in avoiding extradition, and in 2018, a French court ruled there was sufficient grounds for Bailey to face trial in absentia. As Bailey was convicted of murder and sentenced to 25 years in prison May 31, 2019 by a French court the conviction is expected to lead to a new French arrest warrant and renew extradition attempts. Banned on phone recordings in 2014, when it came to light that phone calls at Garda stations had been secretly recorded, there were claims that some recordings from Bandon Garda Station had evidence of irregularities in the Tiscan du Plantier investigation. The Fennelly Commission, a commission of investigation established in April 2014 by the then Government of Ireland, includes within its terms of reference both the recordings generally and the Bandon allegations in particular. The sole member of the commission is Neil Fennelly, a retired justice of the Supreme Court. In popular culture the murder was the subject of a 2018 true crime podcast miniseries titled West Cork, produced by Audible and hosted by documentarian Jennifer Ford and investigative journalist Sam Bungie. See also list of unsolved deaths Minister for Justice Equality and Law Reform v. Bailey. References Sources Primary Irish Court Judgments 2010 European Arrest Warrant 2011 IHC 177 allowed, 2012 ISC 16 overturned, 2015 IHC 289 cost to Bailey, 2014 Phoenix Article 2016 ICA 141 High Court Judge ought to have recused himself 2016 European Arrest Warrant, 2017 IHC 482 refused 2007 suits for damages. 2016 ICA 203 refused Thomas, 2017 ICA 220 refused Bailey except retrial re unlawful disclosure of confidential information, 2018 ICA 63 refused appeal and cross appeal, 2018 ISCDET 154 refused appeal, 2018 ISCDET 155 refused cross appeal French court judgment. Cour d'Assises de Paris, 3 Grave M.E. Section, the 31st of May 2019. Statue en cell la procedure de défaut criminel, a ferry in Bailey, motivation et grave incire et grave illerate criminal, in French.
retrieved the 9th of March 2020 via docplayer.fr.other. Fenley, Neil. Commission of Investigation, Certain Matters Relative to Ngardasa Ochana and Other Persons, the 31st of March 2017. Investigation into the death of Madame Sophie Tiscan du Plantier. Telephone Recordings. Report of the Fenley Commission. Department of the Taoiseach. Pages 605-683. Retrieved the 9th of March 2020. Gardasa Ochana Ombudsman Commission. The 30th of July 2018. Information report from the Gardens Ochana Ombudsman Commission at the completion of the investigation into the complaints of Ian Bailey, Catherine, Jules, Thomas and Marie Farrell. Retrieved the 9th of March, 2020. Secondary, Crows, Julian, 2014. Affair Sophie to Scan du Plantier. Undenny to Justice, in French. Max Milo. ISBN 9782315005413. Retrieved the 9th of March 2020. Hopkin, Alana, 2008. The Murder of Sophie Tiscan du Plantier. West Cork. The People and the Place. Gill and Macmillan Limited. ISBN 9781848890732. Retrieved the 9th of March 2020. Marlow, Laura, 2013. Sophie Tiscan du Plantier. The Things I've Seen. Nine Lives of a Foreign Correspondent. Liberties Press. ISBN 9781909718098. Retrieved the 9th of March 2020. Regal, Ralph, 2011. Sophie Tiscan du Plantier. Shattered. Killers do time, victims' families do life. Collins Press. Pages 120-147. ISBN 9781848891005. Rosh, Barry, the 31st of May 2019. From Paris to West Cork and back. The story of the Sophie Tiscan du Plantier murder investigation. The Irish Times. Retrieved the 9th of March 2020. Sheridan, Michael, 2012. Death in December. The story of Sophie Tiscan du Plantier. O'Brien Press. ISBN 9781847175199. Retrieved the 9th of March 2020. Citations.